Good afternoon, my lovers. I thought I would try an experiment. In here, you see that in there? That is a rather manky compost heap. And I thought what I would do is put a potato in it to see if it will cook. A potato? What's that on there? Oh, it's just... Uh, oh, it's just a bit was trying to grow. Um, so, put a potato in the compost heap to see if the heat will cook it. But first of all, what I need is some grass clippings. Now, I'm not mowing many lawns this time of year, but um, there is some grass around that the council come round and they periodically cut. So, I thought I'd get my mower out and I would collect a load of clippings um, and put my spud potato in the heap to see if the heat of the compost heap will cook it. I might put some cardboard on top just to see if I can insulate it a bit so that the heat stays within the heap. But I can assure you these things do get pretty warm. I've got a heat gun and I will show you probably tomorrow, it's going to take a while, um, if it will cook this potato. Right, I've mowed my own lawn, i just got to strim round. So over on this side I used to mow his lawn. Next door, we don't live there, but I used to mow it. But then for, for some bizarre reason, he stopped paying me. So, you know, you don't work for nothing, do you? Right, do you think the council might notice this? Do you think they might notice that? Mowing for free, you know. I'm helping the council no end. Getting rid of litter, helping the bugs, which I will be, and uh, mowing their grass for them. So yeah, I've put some grass on there and I'm going to place the spud in the middle like that and I'm going to put some more grass on top and probably a little mound directly over that spud, potato. And what I'm going to do is I might wrap it in clean film, you know, because obviously the spores from this rotting material might get to it, but if it's going to get to 60 or 70 degrees in there, which it will do, wouldn't that heat kill off any spores? And all I'd have to do is wash it afterwards? Put it in the comments below. Now I was thinking of wrapping it in foil. But would the foil bounce the heat away from the potato? So that less heat would get to it? Or am I barking up the wrong tree? Right, I'm going to wrap this in clean film. I don't know what you call it in America. It's, sort of, it's like film that's got a static thing about it and it just clings to everything um, and I'm going to place that in the compost bin with some extra clippings on top and I've got a barrow fill so that should work so I'll put it in the comments below on whether or not you think and I'm going to leave it overnight it's going to be in there for a long time you know hours and hours and hours put some cardboard on top to insulate it whether you think it's going to cook the potato. It's quite a large potato. You know, it's quite large. You know, over four fingers across. A proper baker. So, yeah, I'm going to try and cook it. And then I'm going to get an iron pin. Cook it, you know, for when you... Those iron pins, when you hold your meat together when you're cooking um, beef. And it's a bit f floppy. So I'm going to put a pin in it. And if it slips in really easy, then it's cooked. So yeah, put it in the comments below, do you think this is going to work?
got these homemade ingots of lead Right, that should do it. Oh, come and move my eyes. That should do it. I reckon that will get up to temperature and it will cook that potato spud. What do you think? Put it in the comments below.